Polk County, the school district there welcoming back more than 116,000 students today. And ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit looks into the changes the district is now implementing this school year. The more than 120 schools in the Polk County School District are seeing higher enrollment numbers than ever. This year, students can expect a few changes, including random security checks. About 116,000 students arrived in cars, buses, and on foot Wednesday morning to school campuses across Polk County. Teachers, administrators, and everybody else in between we focus and prepare throughout the summer for this day. Superintendent Frederick Hyde tells me the 6,000 more enrolled students is reflective of the rapid growth of Polk County. The first day of school was also the first day that McLaughlin Middle School and Fine Arts Academy in Lake Wells welcomed its first class of ninth graders. This begins its gradual expansion into a middle high school. You want to do it in small chunks so that we can have opportunities to hire on new bus drivers, to transport the kids, new teachers. If we rush right into it, we would have put ourselves more at a step back versus a step up. And now middle and high school students in Polk County will have to go through a new security check. We have added this year random searches. It is important for us um, and it's not a reaction. We've, we've kind of had a similar number of, of weapons and, and inappropriate items located on our campuses each year. But I believe as a school system, more and more, we have to show that we're being reflective. Also being implemented this year is an opt out policy where parents can opt out of any book at their child's school library. All of our school sites have a link where parents can see comprehensively all of the titles and they can opt out or of any title that they don't align to. And this year, Polk County Schools is adding seven truancy officers who will be working to lower the absentee rate. The superintendent says 51,000 students missed more than 10 days of school last year. They will work in tandem with our school, our school psychologists, our social workers and our counselors and they'll also partner with families. They'll conduct home visits, really to find out why. Why is the student missing so much school? The superintendent tells me with COVID restrictions lifted, parents can once again get involved on school campuses and volunteer. In Polk County, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.